All right, let's add a couple of really simple views so that we can get our menus set up as well. Go to Structure, Views, and Add New View. We're going to just make this a view called Hotels. Content of type Hotels. Create a page. We'll sort that by title. Create a page. An unformatted list of teasers. Our teasers are already set up, so we're good to go there. We'll leave it at 10, use a pager, and let's create a menu link in the main navigation called Hotels. Click Save and Edit. And let's just take a quick look. And one thing that drives me crazy is when I do the sort by title, it always goes descending. Really easy to fix. Click on Sort Criteria and change that to Ascending. Click Apply. And click Save. Go to Views again and add new view. And let's call this Landmarks. This is going to be a page of taxonomy terms of type Landmarks. And we'll leave it as unsorted, but fix that in a moment. Click Create a Page, an unformatted list of Display Suite taxonomy terms. This allows us to use Display Suite to change the format. Let's go ahead and do that. 10 items at a time, use a pager, create a menu link in the main menu called Landmarks. Click Save and Edit. All right, let's take a quick peek. So we've got our preview here, the title, the image, the website, and a description. We're going to use Display Suite to fix this, so we'll get to that in just a moment. And let's add a sort criteria. Do a search for name, select it, and apply, and once again, ascending. And that should give us all of our landmarks in alphabetical order. Excellent. Go ahead and click Save. And let's update our Display Suite. Structure, Display Suite, and click on Manage Display for the Landmarks Taxonomy term. You'll see that right now is just the picture, the website, and the description. Let's go ahead and just quickly change that up. Do a two-column layout and click Save. Go ahead and drag Description down to the right and Website to the right. Drag Name up to the top, above the picture, and click Save. All right, let's take a quick peek at what we just did. Go back to the site, and you now see landmarks. And there we are. The title, the website, and the description for each one. We can go back and quickly fix that because our titles are not linked. Go back to Structure, Display Suite, and of course there are many ways to get to this section. Click Manage Display, and on the name, click on the gear, and make it a link. Once again, you can add classes, change the templates, add labels, all kinds of things here. Click Update, and Save. Go back to the site, click Landmarks again, and now our landmarks are links to the landmark page where all of the hotels that use that landmark are also listed in their teaser mode. And that's something that happens automatically. It's really cool. All right, almost the last thing. Let's update our menu. Go to Structure and Menus and Main Navigation. Let's reorder our menus. Home, FAQs at the bottom, and click Save back to the site, and now our menus are properly listed. All right, heading back to menus for just a minute, because we haven't really talked about this. We dealt with them much more in the beginner class. There are a number of menus that come with Drupal. The development menu is added by the develop module. If we click on main navigation and edit the menu, you'll see we have the title and all of the links. 
we can add a new link here. Let's add a link to our contact page. Click Add Link, and let's say Contact Us. And the link here is slash contact. Now, how did I know that? Well, that's the URL for the built-in contact page for every Drupal site. Click Save. And now I have a Contact Us menu. Go back to the site and click Contact Us. And here's our website feedback. And we can update that over its structure, Contact Forms, and Website Feedback. Once again, forms are entities now. We can add fields and manage the form display. So Contact Forms now built into Drupal 8, even a personal contact form for individual users, and again, completely fieldable. It's really awesome what Drupal has done with forms. So as I log out, here's my finished website. Of course, I could add a logo. But the important thing, again, to remember, my views are intact. Here's my Welcome to the Hotels of Sydney. I've got my slideshow working. I could add my own images there if I wanted. And my view is of all of the hotels. My menu is done. It's looking a lot better. Congratulations, we're almost done the site building process. To be honest, there's so much more we could do. Let's say we wanted a rating system for our hotels. We'd add the rate module or the five-star rating module. Honestly, the potential for your site here is limitless. We can only do so much in these videos. I'd encourage you to take a few minutes even now, pause the class, and think about your own projects. What features do I need? What enhancements do I want? What kind of look and feel do I need? What are the views I'd need to build? And so on, as you've discovered the site building process through this class of content, extend, and layout, even to this point, you've got a lot of thinking to do for your own website. And what we've done so far is just the beginning.